What's going on, Collective? It's your girl, Miss Smooth. Thank you so much for tuning in to Miss Smooth's Motivational Tarot, where I'm here to inspire you on your spiritual and human experience. Hold on, y'all. Yo, you can't even have your window open because people just feel like, like, like outside is a club, right? I'm just going to play my music mad fucking loud, and I'm the DJ, and it's my club, even though you outside, right? I don't believe people, y'all. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to have to open it back up because I don't want my stuff to get smoky. So let's just go ahead and clear the energy real quick. I hope you guys are having a good day. I am having a good day. I just hate when it's time for me to do a reading and out of nowhere, people just want to be noisy, right? Extremely noisy, right? And so... You know, it's all good. I'm going to let that I'm going to let that go. <laughs> How you doing, collective? I miss you guys. I love you guys. And I thank you guys for the subscribes, for the likes, for the shares, for the love, for the support. Thank you so much for liking the post. You hear that pop, snapple, and crack? Oh, my goodness. What's going on? All right. Now, don't be popping. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead. Ancestors of our highest good and light, thank you so much for the love. Thank you for the clarity. Thank you for all of the distractions because nothing before is time. Thank you so much for the high vibration that you send our way. We honor you. We love you. Thank you for uh, protecting me and collectives. Crown chakra, throat chakra, heart chakra, and the soles of our feet as above, so below. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So I'm going to let y'all know right now before I even start this reading. My nails look crazy. Okay. One of them broke. Okay. And it was just a done deal. So don't be looking crazy. Just pay attention to the message. All right. Don't pay attention to the messenger. Pay attention to the message. Okay. All right. Looks can be deceiving. <laughs> all right. All right, collective. I don't even think I could do that. Like, it's always something. Like, what is the problem? Let's try this. All right. All right. So, let's see what collective wants to... Um, collective. Let's see what Divine wants us to talk about. <laughs> I'm all over the place, yo. Let me calm down. Whew. Breathe, Miss Mood. All right. So, let's see what collective want to talk about. Because they like, do a reader. And I'm like, I did a Thursday, Thriving Thursday reading. Y'all should go check that out if it's about career and finance. You know? Wow. All of that? All of that? All of that spirit? All of that? Lord have mercy. Just to get set up to do a reading and be crazy sometime. Okay? Don't be burning my ball. Yeah. Stop it. All this ashes. <clears throat> I don't like that. Stay away. All right, collective. I'm going to have to light a sage. Let me light a sage real quick. One second. Thank you so much for the love. I'm so sorry about this. I had everything together. You see the noise left. Everything left, right? But when I started, it's like the party just start got started, right? When I start, the party gets started, okay? But it's all good. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, Devon. Thank you, spirit guides. I appreciate you guys for the love. <clears throat> Let me shuffle one more time. Oh, I need to go to see that. Let me see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, these damn ashes. <laughs> all right let's see what spirit's talking about i'm excited to see the message don't start yo the palo Santo was lighting almost burnt the shit out of my finger i had to get the scissors and stab that bitch like uh-uh don't play you don't play me love you positive vibes only <laughs> all right let's see what spirit's talking about at the bottom of the deck we have the nine of cups look how pretty that is Ooh, 
Somebody got some wishes. I told you. The party don't start till you get started. So when you get hype about your future, about your life, about your wishes, desires, that's when they be like, yeah, we about to, you know what I'm saying? Come through the portal and come to you. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Why? Why you Why you back here? It's like a bugaboo. Ooh, a bugaboo. Who's bugging you? Mmm. Look. We have the hermit, okay? So, somebody could be thinking about you with the hermit. Mm. Okay? Somebody could be thinking about you with the hermit. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Somebody could definitely be thinking about you with the hermit. It could be a Virgo. Okay? Um, or you could just be in hermit mode and now that the weather is starting to get really nice, people are starting to go on vacation, people are starting to buy new summer clothes and spring clothes. So things are changing. New you, new boo, I'm hearing. Hey, don't 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 do that to me. Don't make me have to search. Oh my god. Three of Cups. Then I say, yeah, somebody's thinking about the times y'all had together. Oh, they thinking about, they reminiscing on the times y'all had together. Okay, the celebrations, the good times. Not the bad times, the good times. Who is this person thinking about you, Collector? What is this person, why is this person in this nostalgia energy? You know what's so funny? When you take the Hermit and the Three of Cups, right? Because the Three of Cups is all about gatherings and celebration right having a good fucking time right right and this person is thinking about the times y'all went out on dates this person is thinking about you know the things that y'all did in the past because hermit is to go within right <clears throat> so to me that's like another form of the six of cups but it hold on y'all because it's always some distraction Always some fucking distractions. I be tight, bro. <laughs> Always some fucking distractions, okay? Yeah, didn't I say? This person is missing you. They feel unfulfilled, right? Um, and they could just be thinking about you because they're bored. But, um, you know, you could do a lot of things when you're bored. You don't have to think about people from the past or think about people that you're no longer having a good time with. Okay, so let's see. Four cups. What else, spirit? <clears throat> Thank you. Yeah, this person is reflecting big time. Because with the hermit, it ain't the six of cups. It's the hermit. They, they're feeling some kind of way. And they're trying to get some enlightenment about spending time with you and the disconnect. Okay, with the four of cups. And here go the knight of swords. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how to come in. With the Knight of Swords. Y'all see that? Right? Trying to figure out, you know, how can they come in with a perfect message? How can I talk to my collective? Why are you trying to talk to my collective? Like, the only reason why I would think a person is trying to figure out how to come in is either you haven't heard from this person in a long time or they did some fucked up shit where you kind of just disconnected yourself. You couldn't even block them. Wow. Bugaboo. That's why I said bugaboo. All those distractions. Wow. <clears throat> All right. So, yeah. Five of Wands. I told you. Yep. There was some type of conflict. There was some type of disagreement. Um. Mm, okay. There was some type of conflict and there was some type of disagreement. Okay. Mm, okay. So, maybe an argument. That's why they're trying so hard to figure out with the Hermit and the Knight of Swords. Can y'all shut the fuck up, yo? For real. New York City don't know how to fucking sleep. All day. Beep, beep. Uh, uh, eh, 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 eh. I'm telling y'all, my next place, I'm moving someplace where it's quiet. Not too fucking quiet because I don't want to be where nobody can't find me. But I damn sure don't want to be on top of people. 
Okay, so somebody in hermit mode. Yeah, I told you. They trying to figure out how they can come in and, and have a new beginning with you. Wow, spirit. Thank you. Yeah, this person don't want to feel like a fool, though. So they're contemplating on their, on their arrival. Wow. All right, sir. Can we, um, one more? Okay. I like these cards. Yeah, didn't I say? They're trying to figure out how to manifest this new beginning with you. Okay? Because you have, you have, um, the fool and the magician, right? This is somebody that's trying to take matters into their own hands and create some type of illusion. Ooh, this person, mm, they're trying to create some type of illusion. Why, spirit? Anything else? <clears throat> and then I'm going to pull out a different deck. <laughs> I'm going to pull out a different deck. Thank you, spirit. Why is this still? So this person's trying to pull out some type of illusion. Um, thank you. Three of Pentacles, y'all. See? They want to build something with you. They miss you. You got the Three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, right? This is somebody that is really trying to figure out how to put forth some type of effort to come towards you. Can y'all see that? Yeah, y'all can see that. All right? <clears throat> I don't even want to change decks because this deck is so pretty. And I was super duper excited to use this uh, deck. Uh, this is my first time using it after charging it for the past couple of days. Spirit, what should I do? All right. Bottom of the deck, page of cups. Yeah. Yep. You had the nine of cups. So that person feels like you're their wish fulfillment. And they also really want to start putting into your cup. Mm. They want to start with some type of small gift or gesture to come in and speak to you. But they're not really sure how, when, where, or why. They just know that they are feeling like they need to do this. And it could just be out of boredom or it could be that they've not been around the world and they can't find you. They can't find nobody like you. And they miss the good times y'all had together. Like even if this person fucked up, at one point y'all were friends. At one point y'all were lovers. At one point y'all were on the same team and something happened. All right. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> let's see let's see okay yeah thank you spirit I see solitude again god damn a lot of solitude okay it's always the same fucking cards I don't like that the world the opportunist solitude what is wrong with you <laughs> what is going on okay thank you spirit all right, so. All right, I love the sage. Sage know how to clear out that negative energy. A lot of you need to definitely keep sage in your energy. Because um, you're not sure about certain people coming into your energy. I'm not doing that, Spirit. <clears throat> okay, so Akashic Records. Didn't I say this person is thinking about you? Like, you have history with this person. When I say history, 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 this could be a soulmate contract that has been, um, what's the good word? What's the good word, spirit? This is somebody that you've had many lifetimes with. And every time y'all get together, shit go haywire after a while. Okay. And so this person is definitely somebody that you have. Um, they, they have access to you. You have access to them. Um, y'all have a very strong psychic connection towards each other. Okay. And, um, yeah, this person is really trying to look through, this person could be looking through records, videos, pictures, trying to put the pieces together to see how can I come at Miss Moves Collective this time compared to all the other times? Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> wow. Spirit is not playing. Oh, sacral chakra. Yeah, this person is missing you sensually, sexually, intimately. Yeah, this person is missing the pleasure they have with you. And that's probably why they bored because they haven't found nobody to do it or feel. It's not so much the way you do it. It's the way you feel. I don't know what it is about your body, but you have, you know, something that most people don't have i don't know like what you got <laughs> what you got what you got a third nipple or something i don't know <laughs> yeah this person is thinking about all the times y'all was together i'm not taking all that this person's thinking about all the times y'all was together intimately you know and this is causing a karmic storm in their life. You have the Ace of Fire in reverse. I'm telling you, you withdrew your energy from this person. And they can't, it's like, I can't take this shit. I need you. I. How you gonna put me on, how you gonna put me on ice? Because the Ace of Fire in reverse means no fire. Okay? So that's why I feel like it's ice. Okay? That's why I feel like it's ice. And this person is having a karmic storm within their own internal solitude. Because they don't know how or if they have the opportunity to come. Oh, child. Almost dropped my ball. Hold on, y'all. Oh, stop. I'm telling you, I just be feeling the, the distractions. Thank you. Okay? So... <clears throat> Yeah, this person is going through some type of cause and effect, like a cycle, internal cycle of um, dissatisfaction, okay? They feel blocked. They have lack of energy. Um, they're boredom. I'm getting boredom twice right here with the four cups. You have... You have boredom twice. You have boredom here and you have boredom here. Can y'all see that? Yeah, twice. So this person could just be really extremely bored with uh, the entertainment that they had. And it's like, I know, I know who I can um, get some relief from. But, you know... The last time I was with this person, or this person cut me off, they don't want nothing to do with me no more. And I feel like that's that's what's going on, okay? Yeah, this person feels like the fire is not lit between y'all. Wow. Bugaboo. I'm telling you, it's a bugaboo. I'm telling you, okay? Anything else, spirit? <clears throat> Anything else for the collective? Tell me more about this person in hermit mode. Please and thank you. Ooh. Somebody's thinking about coming towards you. Okay? I don't know if this person lost their place. Or they just want to move closer to you. But that's probably why they're like, I never did this before. I never moved closer to my collective where I have more so you guys live at a distance okay so this person doesn't have easy access to you that's what I'm hearing easy access they mad they don't have easy access and <clears throat> they wouldn't be so bored because they like the chase wow I'm not doing all that let me get my pen I know that much this is a lot okay so they like the chase. They like the chase. You know, they like the fact that you keeping yourself reserved. Okay? And this person is like, well, we live at a distance. Or they could be at a distance from you. And they want to come in by making a huge move. Possibly physical. Okay? Um, and, of course, this person is bored. And they want... They miss you... 
intimately. I'm going to just say intimately. I'm not going to just say sexually, but sacral chakra is out here. Okay? And it's in the upright. So that lets me know this person, um, they miss the joy, the past, passion, the pleasure, uh, the sensuality and intimacy, and the flow between y'all when y'all get together. And this is causing a karmic storm in this person's sacral chakra and the delays, right? Um... Maybe it's even, they can't even be creative because they're not, yeah, see, Ace of Swords, inner child wounding, okay? So this person, when I see insecure and inner child wounding, right, when I see these two cards, um, <clears throat> oh, this, this, this also represents divorce. So some of you could have been married to your ex-husband, ex-wife. Um, they have some repressed emotions and they want to come out and bring... They want to really talk about it with you. They want to talk about the shit y'all went through. I told y'all, y'all got history together with um, Akashic Records here. Okay? Wow. Okay. This is a lot, spirit. Okay, so we know that this person's outcome is that they want to come in and bring some type of, um, they want to come in and bring some type of clarity and truth to why you guys are not together. And I feel like with the big move, this person wants to come in and reestablish their position in your life. And the only way they could do that is if they talk about the emotional wounds that they they probably haven't talked about. And I feel like, <clears throat> I don't even know why you're here. Freaking seashell, like seriously, get out. <laughs> All right, so the five of wands and the four of cups and the knight of swords. Yeah, fast messages coming in, trying to figure out how to come in and bring some direct message to you, okay? Like, they really want to talk about it. They don't want to leave it doormat and hidden no more, okay? They look at you as their wish fulfillment. Maybe this person had to go through other people to realize that they're never going to find somebody like you, which is dumb because, you know, you should know that, but you don't. And it's not about... It's not about what you know, Collective. It's about this person who fucked the shit up. Who caused the karmic storm between y'all. Okay? And this person is really traumatized with inner child wounding being here to the point where now they're ready to talk about it. They're ready to clear the air. They're ready for a new beginning. Okay? They know they can't come in passionately, so let me come in honestly. Okay. All right. You know, that shows some type of maturity and growth. Okay. That shows some type of maturity and growth. And that's a good thing. But, you know, people be having all kinds of like, um, all kinds of like, um, what you call it? <clears throat> they be having all kinds of like, um, Motives behind their madness. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think... Okay, one more spirit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, where are we putting it? Where? Where? Where are we putting it? Options. Okay. All right. So this person is trying to either think about options or they think you have options. And that's common. You know, that's common. Every time you're not with somebody and you really miss that person, you think they're automatically having fun with the next person because they're not hitting you up because they don't have no time for you. Okay. And it's like, uh, no, I'm working on my coins. Uh, no, I'm working on my life. I'm working on my healing. Right. Why it got to be options? Why can't it be healing? I'm going to get it right, y'all. My cards is doing what it want to do. <clears throat> okay. So, let's get some tarot because it's like, I really just 
took up all the space. I feel like this person is going to come in with a whole bunch of messages, conversation, wanting to talk to you about, you know, what y'all been through and, you know, bringing up things, especially with us being in Mercury retrograde. Okay. All right. So let's clarify. Hermit spirit. Can we clear? Wow. All that came out. Yeah. Then I say, look, the Ace of Swords came back out and you got the Three of Swords and you got the Knight of Wands. Okay. This past, this person really wants to come in and let you know, I really miss you. I really want to come in with the Knight of Wands. I want to, I want to woo you. I want to take you out on a date. Okay. I want to woo you. I want to take you out on a date. Um, I want to speak some clarity and truth. I want you to know, I want you to, this person wants you to hear them out. Thank you, spirit. They want you to hear them out and they want you to allow them to come in and show you what? A good time with the three of cups. They want to, they want to bring back. They want, they want to do it in a new way, but they want to bring back the joy. They want to bring back the celebration and the laughter. They really want to do this. Wow. Okay. Um, with the three of cups and the four of cups, like I said, this person is really thinking about the times that they have with you with Hermit. And the four of cups is all about, you know, definitely, you know feeling unfulfilled look knight of cups i can't make it up i can't make it up look at that this person might even want to take you out on a picnic nice all right so we we know this person is like talking it, it, you ain't saying shit <laughs> this whole reading is about this this visitor this bugaboo. I call him a bugaboo because that's probably how you feel. Like, why are you here? Okay, why are you here? So offer this Knight of Cups to bring in this fast-moving message. To clear the air. Okay, can we clarify the Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands? Thank you, Spirit. Ooh. <clears throat> Ten of Wands. Didn't I say? To clear the air. Okay. This person is stressed out. They want to take um, accountability. Um, they want some kind of change. You see how this person walking around with all these masks? They want to bring, they want to, oh, child, yes. They trying to reveal all the secrets. They want to take, they want to show you all the masks that this person wore with you they want to remove their mask and be their authentic self. They tired of being someone pretending to be happy with other people. Look at all the people in the case. None of them. These are like blank souls. Okay. Blank souls. Okay. People that they, they put on a mask for, but that's not who they really are. Wow. Look, I told you, the star, they want to renew. They're hoping for a new start with the fool and the star. They're hoping for a new start. And then you have the devil, okay? Um, yeah, they're hoping for a new start. They're hoping for forgiveness. With the star and the devil, to me, with the fool, it's a big risk. They're taking a risk on trying to manifest these three of pentacles with you. Wow. You have the moon and judgment. What the fuck I say? Okay. The moon is all about hidden secrets and emotions. It's also about our dreams. And judgment is about awakening. So I feel like this person has gotten an awakening. Maybe while they were sleeping during this new solar eclipse moon that we just had. Um, but this person is definitely being, 
guided to reveal their hidden emotions for you in order for this to come out. And I say that because look, we have the Ace of Swords. I want to clear the air, okay? I want to clear the air. I want you to know that I'm not messing with anybody. I don't have any options. But do you have options? That's that's the question they're going to want to know, too. <laughs> do you have options, okay? Look, Two of Cups can't make it up. I love that rhyme. Two of Cups can't make it up. Every time I have a love reading, I say that because it's true. Like, it be coming out and you don't see the Two of Cups, right? You don't see the Ten of Cups. You don't see, you know, the good cups. And then the Two of Cups come out. <laughs> this is a soulmate connection, okay? This is somebody that has a very strong bond with you. And they want to build that back up with you, again, with the Three of Pentacles. I hope y'all can see the cards. These cards are cute, right? <laughs> oh, okay, spirit. So, oh, let's talk about it. Um, wow, that hit the Ace of Swords right in the head. <laughs> so, this person is gonna come in with the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. Now, it did fall in the reverse. I don't take reversals, okay? But in a reverse, it says um, resourcefulness, juggling, um, and multitasking, okay? So, um, flexibility and adaptability. <sighs> yeah, this two of pentacles and the ace of swords is saying this person has come to some type of decision that they need to make and they realize that before they become an option or before before they run out of options thank you so they're afraid that they might run out of options um two of pentacles can also be about juggling let me clarify the two of pentacles thank you sir Wow, two more cards. All right, so we have the Four Swords and we have the Emperor. Yeah, they've been within, they, they've they been praying. They've been trying to get some type of clarity. Um, with the, the Four Swords, is all about, you know, really getting that um, solitude to rest, to figure out how they can pursue, right? Um, this person, something about their stability. What about their stability, Spirit? What about the stability with the Emperor? So you have the Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. All right. So, I mean, it's not a bad thing. The Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Swords is like, I want to work on learning. I want to work on learning what? What do you want to work on and learn? What does this person want to work on and learn with my collective? They have the High Priestess. See, you got the... I did not tell y'all y'all got a strong bond. Did not tell y'all. Who them people? Who them people? That's you, Collective, and that's them. Collective, you're the Empress, and this is the Emperor. This is a soulmate connection with a strong bond, especially with the Two of Cups being here, okay? And they definitely want to learn how they can uh, work on fixing the situation, fixing the connection. What I say fate destiny they feel like a risk you know i'm taking a big chance doing this with the will okay wow this is a lot <laughs> knight of pentacles exactly this person is really trying to figure out how to move forward how to build how to invest how to um you know be practical but also they want to you know, be reliable. 
right? How can I be, how can I show my collective, how can I show Miss Smooth's collective that I'm reliable, all right? I'm not, I'm not a wanderer. I don't have wandering eyes. I'm not out there being with all kind of people. I'm taking things slow and really deciding on who it is that I want in my life. And the only person that makes sense is my divine counterpart. I want to invest in my divine counterpart. I want my ultimate happiness. I want to be able to have my complete destiny with my boo thing. Bugaboo. <laughs> you have the six of wands and the seven of swords. Okay. So yeah, this person feels like they've been robbed an opportunity with you um, because of their lies. All right. And this person is ready to face and take accountability with the six of wands. That's somebody who moves with recognition and progression. Like I'm ready to come forward about the betrayal and the lies with the seven of swords. You got somebody who went through a motherfucking, especially with Akashic records and sacral, 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 um, sacral chakra karmic storm. Um, this person probably was put on ice, ain't been with nobody. They can't. I don't know what's going on with their, sh their sacral chakra, but, um, you know, it ain't working for nobody. Only when they think of you does, do they get aroused. That's what I'm hearing. Only when they think of you do they get aroused. Wow. Okay. Wow. All right. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, why are you falling sacral? Because <laughs> I'm telling all your business. <laughs> it's these seashells, yo. I love seashells, but they just not working for me right now. All right, the Ace of Wands is in reverse. And I, I feel like this person doesn't want you to think that they're coming at you to be sexual right for sexual gratification i feel like they want to they really want to you know maybe they yeah i'm i'm not lying <laughs> this sacral chakra is fucked up they 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 everything works only when they think of you everything works only when they think of you mm. how, collective how am i supposed to put that in the title because that's what this is about Everything works only when they with you. It doesn't work with anybody else. It's not working with anybody else. And this is causing a lot of um, frustration, sexual frustration, right? <laughs> wow. And that's why they want to come in and speak about the lies and take ownership to the shit that they did that was wrong. Nine of Swords, all up in their head, ready to come out and be released from the stress and the depression and the fear. They're tired of holding in all of their thoughts and emotions, and they're ready to come out and speak about the Ace of Swords, speak about and clear the energy when it comes to, you know, the choices that they made with you. All right, so... Let me go ahead and clear this. Hold on, y'all. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Spirit is saying, be careful. Why? Why are you telling collective? Because all we heard was them. All we heard was them. Excuse me if y'all heard me burp. All we heard was them talk about what they want to do. What they ready to do. Okay? And what I want to know is... Okay, so you have the Queen of Cups. This is you. This is you at the bottom of the deck. Okay, you could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but Queen of Cups and the Empress. They, the Empress. Anytime you see somebody refers to you as this type of queen or that type of queen, you're also embodying the Empress. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and do something real quick. One second, y'all.
I want to see what makes this so complicated besides the fact that this person hasn't taken accountability for causing the karmic storm. Okay? And now they're ready to do that. So what would make this complicated um, when they come back? Okay? What would make what would be complicated um, as they come back in? Why does this why would this situation be complicated if there's any complications? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Why is this complicated when this person come back? So we have, oh, you're not interested. <laughs> because you still feel like this person got secrets. That's why, I, look, let's talk about these options. Like this. I don't know if you keeping tabs on this person or this person was keeping tabs on you. But you know how people be all excited about their new boo and they start posting shit and doing shit. And then when shit don't work out, you don't see or hear about the shit breaking up. But the pictures, the memories, Akash, Akash, I can't talk, Akashic Records is telling all the secrets. I can't make it. <laughs> Right? That's the thing about the internet. You can always go back in somebody's thing and see that. Okay? But you guys do have deep love. Okay? So that's what makes it complicated as well. Damn. Let me hurry up with this reader because this person got me. Yeah, see? They regret the shit. They regret it. You regret being with them. You regret dealing with them. And somebody... It's like, listen, I admire you. Why? Wow, this person is so charming. <laughs> catching feelings. Ooh. So now they catching feelings. They ain't had feelings before. They had feelings, but they ran away from them because you made this person feel like they could get anybody they want. And they fucked up and thought that I don't know. It's so delusional. Like, if I make you feel that good, why would you want to go to somebody else? Why would... Is it... What 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 close connection? Catching feelings and close connection is here. Okay? Who's catching feelings and who's got a close connection? Admiration, right? Mm. Mistake in reverse. Okay? So this person realizes they don't... Somebody don't want to acknowledge the mistake? What's the mistake? Why is the mistake in reverse? Wine and dine. Okay, so this is this is dumb. You know, maybe they did go out with other people. Remember we saw the other cards with the three of cups and the four of cups, right? It's all about just missing the celebration and the good times. And this person felt like it was a mistake spending their time and energy trying to wind and down somebody that wasn't for them, right? And now maybe somebody caught feelings. Mm. Mm. All on my hand. Patience, okay? Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> I, I know what it is. It looked funny as hell, but what it really means is this person, you see this person trying to be patient, but they watching you, okay? Hiding behind a motherfucking plant. We see you. We see you. <laughs> Close contact, catching feelings. Yes, servant. Yeah, this person misses and desires you, but you're not interested, as you see right here, because, you know, this person kept a lot of secrets from you. They, they look secretive now, even though we fucking see you. <laughs> look, reconciliation in reverse. I can't fucking make sure. They're patiently trying to figure out how they can have this reconciliation with you. Mm. I hear somebody say, well, keep on motherfucking waiting because you're going to be, you're going to be old as the Akashic Records. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
Didn't I say they moving? Distance came in reverse, okay? Why is distance in a reverse? Spirit, you have selfish season, okay? So this person feels like they're being selfish. They're no longer wanting to be selfish. They no longer want to be in distance with you. They no longer want to be disconnected from you. And they're patiently waiting to figure out how to do this shit. Reconciliation in reverse means that, you know, you don't want a reconciliation. Or you're patiently waiting to figure out how to reconcile because you are, you know, what's the word? You're separated, right? Because reconciliation means that you're together. You come back together. So to disconnect. So this person is patiently waiting on how to um, reconnect. That's why reconciliation is in reverse. Because they want to come in and reconnect. They want to come closer with distance. And they want to be fair and not be selfish. They want to be selfless. Okay? But all of it has to do with them catching feelings and just knowing that you the one. You the one. You the one. And I, I want you. Where we at? My love readings be crazy because there's so much stuff going on during this Mercury retrograde. Okay? Bottom of the deck. Okay? Interference. So some type of interference. Wow. Pregnancy is in reverse and deep love. Okay, so you probably can't have kids anymore. But why is interference is here and karma is in reverse? Ooh, that's good. That means they got through it. So some type of interference. Somebody's blocking somebody's karmic karma. Somebody lost the baby. Ooh. You know what else I'm picking up? Maybe your person can't have children because sacral chakra is here and the ace of wands is in a ver reverse. And you see this wands, this wands is good for one thing and one thing only. Putting in some new shit, okay? <coughs> and it's in reverse, okay? And it's like, I feel like with karma, if this person was dealing with somebody, uh, interference happened. Where either this person wanted to have babies and they can't have babies. And that caused some type of interference. Yeah. And that's what brought on this deep love. Like, if I'm out here in the dating world catching feelings with sexual attraction, I'm not getting nothing out of that. Obsessed. No texting. Yeah, see? This person wants to come in and have a communication. They're not they're not undecided anymore. Okay? Yes or no. They have an answer. Justice is in the reverse with a new chapter. So you could be dealing with the Libra. Spirit is saying, This is not my call. This is your call. Your intuition. Okay? Wow. So, you know, I, I want to know because I'm all up into this reading like, God damn, I want you to win and I don't want nobody sidelining you, okay? So, we're just going to get a few cards out, asking spirit, what is the potential outcome if you give this person a chance to come in and talk? <laughs> if they come in to talk, what is, what is this? What is the next move? What is the next outcome? Because moving is here, okay? So what is this outcome to hear this person out? I didn't say take them back. I just said what is the outcome, right? What is the outcome? I didn't know I was going to have all these cards out here, Spirit. Gosh. <laughs> what is the outcome? Please and thank you for my collector. Not for the other person. For my collector. Okay, what is the outcome, please, and thank you. What is the outcome? I'm going to just let all the cards come out. What is the outcome, please, and thank you. What is the outcome? What is the outcome when this person comes back? Wow. I got to put all this together. Wow. Wow. Okay. 
bottom of the deck. We have three of pentacles back out here. All right, let me put this together real quick, y'all. Look how that shit spent around upside down. <laughs> okay, fight of wands, eight of wands. So eight of wands and the three of... So y'all gonna... Communication is coming in about this situation. There is some type of victory. I just don't know who. I don't know what. But we gonna talk about it. Give me a second. Okay, so we have... The three of swords is in reverse, okay? So that's all about feeling sad, heartbroken, separation. So the three of swords in reverse, this person wants to bring this out and talk about it, okay? And then you have the two of wands, making a decision, making a first step, taking the first step. So this person is coming in to reverse the three of swords between y'all, the hurt. And they realize that they're the ones who have to take... The first step with the two of wands to bring an ending with the ten of swords, okay? Um, and and acknowledge that I don't want to say this person feels like they've been defeated, but when you when you battle love, when you put love on the line, the person who fucked it up is the one who is defeated because you lose out on a good thing. And so now this person has to stop being a coward, own up to it. Take accountability, which we saw with the Ace of Swords and the options, okay? Taking accountability for the shit that they did, the choices that they made, okay? And Spirit is saying this is going to bring a little bit of conflict or disagreement um, with the Ten of Swords. I feel like it's also bringing an ending to the conflict. Thank you, Spirit. An ending to the conflict and a disagreement, okay? Ending to the conflict and a disagreement, we have... The King of Wands, yeah, this is your person. I told you, they they all fucked up. They don't feel their self. They're not their happy go lucky self, okay. And then you have the Queen of Swords, okay. They know that when they come to you, you really gonna make this person really understand how they made you feel. Look how I'm. I'm. If you got Akashic records here, that means that this is long time coming. This is something I'm talking to people that have been with you. You haven't been in this person's life decades ages years lifetimes i'm hearing cycles okay because y'all keep trying to repeat a cycle over and over again but spirit is saying you got the queen of pentacles oh um this ain't you this ain't you boo boo yeah this ain't you this you queen of pentacles ace of cup three of pentacles Okay, so this person, King of Wands energy, they rejected this Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords. That that other shit that I pulled out about not getting pregnant. Look how she holding um her dress. Look how she's, you know what I'm saying. So I feel like this person either told your your person that wants to come back about themselves to really get them. To get into this Ace of Swords and inner child wounding energy. Like, you probably told this person, but when they met, they match. They met somebody that don't have no fucking soul. That's what I'm hearing. She don't even have a soul. He or she. Okay? And it made you look real abundant. And they're praying for a new foundation with you. A new beginning. Okay, so expect some type of communication coming in with the Eight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles when it comes to, you know, this person coming in to let you know how they feel and what they're trying to do. You got the Ace of Pentacles, yeah. And you got Temperance, yeah. And you got the Page of Cups, yeah. And you got Judgment, yeah. And you got the Two of Swords, stuck. About this Ten of what? Cups. Okay, from somebody from who? The Six of Cups, the past. Okay. What is this? This is the Nine of Pentacles, love. You living your best life. You even have somebody else coming too, that's the King of Pentacles, that wants to come in and offer. They're very attracted to you with the Page of uh, Wands. Um, the Five of Pentacles is somebody who's struggling to do what? So, okay, so you might be meeting somebody that's in between jobs. They not broke, 
but they they had some type of loss all right with the five of pentacles okay and this person is ready to come in and work on something bring some type of manifestation and you got the fool and you got the sun oh you got choices ace of swords says so oh somebody gonna be walking around walking away with their egos ego i can't i can't i can't spirit i'm not singing a song okay we have four of pentacles right trying to be controlling and possessive over this wish fulfillment nine of cups can't make it up oh child so what i'm feeling like is collective you have somebody from your past that's coming in they could they could even show up from another lifetime ago like you know this person but something about them just you know and this person it's like they know you're their assignment but it's still up to you that's why justice was in the reverse and then you got somebody else coming in that is very wealthy they have a lot of stability they're very uh grounded and they want to make a move towards you too wow oh my goodness thank you spirit i'm about to close this reading because i think i've been too long on this okay if y'all enjoyed this reading thank you so much for tuning in to miss moves motivational tarot where i'm here to inspire you on your spiritual journey spirit is telling me to pull some love oracle because this this is this this is crazy Why is there, oh, you know, every time something, you know, you could be the type that's like, you know what, I want to be with somebody that, you know, is new. I don't want nobody from my past. But some kind of clarity needs to come out in order for you to move forward. And that's probably why you haven't been able to. Yeah, at one point you thought you was just working on you, which you was. But I'm sure along your journey, you knew in your intuition that this person was coming back to speak to you. You knew. You knew. Okay? This is a spiritual bond. You feel this person. So you feel, you know, the energy. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck. Union in reverse. Look. Okay? The union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. And the reason why it's in reverse is not because it's a union. It's because you know. Didn't I fucking say? Didn't I just say that? <laughs> All right. So even when you feel lost, there's always a way through the labyrinth. You're going to be confused as fuck. I ain't going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. That did want to come out in the spirit set. Pull it. Temptation. Didn't I say? Shh. Think carefully about the situation, spirit said. Is it spiritual or not spiritual? Your spiritual journey is beginning. You've been on a fucking journey. This is not this is not something that you you don't know. You don't know. Like, you know, you're not a baby in this. You know this person. You know the situation. You know your intuition. Your intuition is saying we not we didn't just meet. We 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 best friends. Look, your spiritual journey is beginning. So if it ain't beginning, that means you already in this shit. Knee deep. We not we didn't just learn each other. We best friends. All right. Think carefully about the situation. Okay. Challenges. There's nothing to challenge. You spirit say there's no challenge. Okay. This is not a test. All true soul connections involve challenges that can be overcome together. And you feel like you have overcome your challenges with your higher spirit. Your highest your higher self, your your spirit team, your divine guidance. You 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 have this is not a challenge. That's what spirit is saying. This is not a challenge. This is not a test. This is not something that 
take time to think about your situation to gain clarity. You don't need to think about this. Wow, all your cards. This came out sideways. Look deeply within to discover your soul purpose in your in this relationship. So spirit is saying you really need to just balance things out with what you already know. Wow, these are the last two. So you have boundaries in reverse and you have yin yang, a strong bond. Boundaries says having sensible boundaries is important. And with it being this way, it says like the yin and yang symbol, twin flames connection. You guys can't keep away from each other. I told you. Look, confusion is, it's not, it's going to be clear as fucking day. That's what spirit is saying. All right. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This is. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. It's so much going on. This is. um. It feels like it's an ending. That a decision. Conversation needs to be made. In order for you to walk through the next portal. Okay, in order for you to walk to the next portal. Um, yeah, I don't know why I can't leave this alone. Spirit is telling me something. What is it, Spirit? What is it you want me to say? There's no confusion. This, this. Okay, so what do you advise, Collective, then? What do you advise them? Because you got me here. You have the devil. See? Wow. What about the devil? Could be a Capricorn. It's crossing a devil. Seven of Cups. See? This person has options. Illusions. I'm telling you. I knew it. That's why Spirit said there's no confusion. There's no clarity. Don't even try to second guess it. Okay? High Priestess. Know your worth. Bottom of the deck. Three of swords in reverse. Okay? This ain't even about a heartbreak. Ain't shit there no more. It's a done deal. It's over, over. Love you. Bye.